Hey guys, I'm Max Luigi, and welcome back to Don't Starve. Um, <laughs> welcome back after a month, really. And the funny thing is, there was a video uploaded yesterday, but that wasn't me in the present, was it? No, the past. <laughs> now, I can't believe I forgot to make that video public, but um, yeah, I guess n now you know how my videos work. I upload them unlisted, and then I make them public so I can do stuff for them, you know, annotations and stuff. Anyway, you might have noticed while I'm standing here that some of our trees grew overnight, and uh, the, the crop is a fruit now. It was really cool. While I was sitting here waiting for night to be over with, you could see it getting bigger. Like, like the little sprout was getting bigger, and then it turned into a leaves, and then it was that pomegranate thing, which is what it is. Yeah, pomegranate. So anyway, I, I know you're hungry, Fifty. See, I told you Fifty would come back to honest. Anyway, in this video, we're going to be gathering a lot of resources, and um, I'm trying to see if we can find some buffalo, maybe make some more stuff with the, with, um, with the alchemy engine, yes. I don't know, shit, why didn't I remember that word? Anyway, I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm currently a little sick, <coughs> as you may have noticed in my recent appearances in um, some Minecraft videos with co-ops with other people. Yeah, sorry I haven't recorded anything, but I've been... I know it's kind of stupid to record with other people and not record for your own channel. Or just lazy, maybe both. But I'm coming back into recording. I just... I had to get some stuff fixed before I could record. And I won't go into it, because it's a long story. Plus, it'll probably just piss me off to tell you about it. I need to make another pickaxe already. Wow. Okay, that's enough. Okay, no wait. This last okay, this last go rock, and then we'll and then we'll go back. And we gotta get those seeds. So much stuff to do in this episode, man. This is gonna be a fun episode. But I'm actually I'm watching the time as best I can to make sure that it's not like 30 minutes, like the cup, like the other ones were. <laughs> and if you haven't seen the last one, go check that out. I also I'll put a link to the videos of uh, me doing a co-op with other people in the description. Uh, the plant forgot to do that. Yeah, apparently they grow really fast when it rains. It was raining all night long, I swear. Anyway, also what I need to be doing is getting some grass. Let me do that. Okay. Okay, and there's some trees up here. Good, good. One day we will destroy that beehive. That is the, uh... That is the objective, because they were assholes. <laughs> and you all saw they were being giant assholes. I mean, you all saw. You know what I mean? Especially that. I mean, I was just chopping a tree, and he comes over and stings me in the face. You know? I mean, that's bullcrap. Ooh, those seeds. All right. So I'm going to chop a few more trees. I really need to get my health up. It's only at 53. Shit. I'll end up... If you like the fact that I no notify you, or that I, or you dislike the fact that I don't notify you every time that I put my mouse over at the status in inflictions, status? In no, that's not what they're called. Over at my status area, you know, just uh, just tell me, you know, because I like I like you know I like you to be able to follow what's going on in the video, you know, because I'm so often, and I'm not trying to talk down to the YouTubers, I'm just trying to explain it to you. But so often, I'll be watching a video of someone play this game, and uh, they won't have their cursor enabled, which I can see why, because it fucking fucks it up, you know? But, uh, and they'll go over here, which uh, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm going over to the statuses. And then I'll, uh, and then it, like, as soon as they're... <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> as soon as they're done rolling their cursor over there, I'll I'll notice it and then I'll have to go back with J, which I ha I've been meaning to talk about that for like two months and I haven't said it. But I'll go back and then it'll like it'll piss me off. I don't know why it pisses me off, but it does. Anyway, I just I'm gonna think I'm gonna start notifying you, but if you don't want me to, go ahead and tell me. You know I don't have to. I mean I didn't do it before. You know. And don't, uh, I'm checking my hunger right now. 
don't worry about, you know, if your hunger gets really low in this game. You know, just uh, make sure that you find food before it gets below 10, because that is the danger zone. If you're doing something and your food and you have no food and your hunger goes below 10, then stop what you're doing, go get food as quick as you can without using as much energy, or with using as least energy as possible. Okay, that way. Whoa. Okay, I thought. <laughs> Never mind. Also, six. I'm going to stop by the camp and cook these. And I think if you cook the pomegranate, it makes it worse. So, I think we're going to save that for a little bit. Ooh, the trees are coming in nice. I mean, real nice. Okay, I'm going to cook these berries. I'm going to eat them. Alright, and then we'll head out. And we can eat some petals. I mean, my health is really low anyway. It's like 59, yeah. And then, okay, now I need a torch, so... Let me grab one of the two torches I have, and we'll be on our way. Okay, so the other thing, I didn't even talk about what we were going to do in this video, other than getting rocks. We're going to get rocks, look for beefalo, see if uh, see if we can, you know, play long enough for Glomber to show up and get Glomber, because I want to tell you guys about Glomber. He rocks. But uh, I'm going to go down to the desert, <coughs> the desert area. Shit. See if we can find any beef flow because poop is very important. I know it may not seem like it, but poop is like the second most important thing in this game. Maybe. Okay, there's beef flow here. Okay, one. And sooner or later we'll come back here and shave them while they're asleep. Oh crap. Wait, what am I talking about? We already saw these beef flow. Okay, he went to sleep. And, uh, ooh, cool, I didn't know your torch would do that. Apparently your torches uh, do the same thing as your other tools when they uh, when they run out. You know, and he's still chasing me. Okay. I just want to pick up your poop, guys. That's all I want to do. Leave me alone. I'm not trying to kill you. Okay, this one's going to be a giant butthole, I guess. You go ahead and be a giant butthole. I'll be over here. Is there any poop from you around here? There's some. Ooh, some more. Shit. Let me just pick up your poop. God. That's all I want to ever do is just pick up your poop. That's all I don't want to do anything else. Jesus. Oh, there's the... Oh, my mm, straw hat ran out. Man. I needed that for stuff and things. It's crap. Alright, so, now that it's day, we're just going to get the poop in the daylight. I'm going to make another torch. I love this music, dude. Ooh, and the dirt. Okay, time to talk about these. Suspicious dirt piles lead to claw offense. And, no, you did not just... Explode your ear brains. I said koala fence. A koala fence in Don't Starve is an elephant and a koala mixed together. And when you kill it, it has a, you have a chance of dropping a koala fence trunk, which you can make the best uh, installation items in the game with. Okay, that was, that was bad. You need them for... And there's a winter, there's a winter koala fence too, which only appears in the winter. You know, obviously. But the uh, regular qualifant trunk makes the puffy vest, I believe. Is it? Is it? Oh, wow. It's not even in this. Okay. And then, okay, whichever the lower tier one is. And then the breezy vest. Maybe it's breezy. The, uh, the, okay, so, yeah, the regular qualifant one makes the breezy vest. And the winter qualifant trunk makes the... Uh, the puffy vest, but you do you do still need other ingredients like uh, beefalo wool and silk. I think maybe that's just one of them. But I know that I know that you need the quality trunks for those. And I mean they're really great installation items. So, like they're the best in the game. Oh come on guys! I didn't even do anything. Periods. Man, 
Anyway. Time to go see what Glomer is up to. Okay, I know it was stale, whatever. Don't you dare. Get away from me. Damn it, man. Come on. You didn't even do anything wrong, bruh. We gotta be a dick, bruh. All these beefaloes being dicks. Shit. Man. You believe these beefalo? Ooh, there's some poop on the spider nest. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, that's getting big. We're gonna have to kill that sooner or later. It's spiders are a good thing to have nearby your base, but you don't want to let the nest get too big because if it gets big enough, a spider queen will spawn, and you will die. You will die. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Ooh, green mushroom. Green mushrooms. I already explained. I think are good for sanity, but cook them, okay? Because if you don't, you will lose 50 sanity. Yes, I said lose. And for any of you that are wondering, that's 1-0. Oh. It's spelled with 1-0. Oh. I don't know why people say it with two O's or spelled. I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's spelled with 1-0. Oh. The other one is loose. It's whatever. Anyway. Ah. Shit. <clears throat> okay, so where was Glomer? Oh, he's on him. Damn, he is so far away. Maybe I should cut out. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I will. Yeah, you're seeing all this. Damn it. Okay, time to make another straw hat, which I will wear. Yep, okay, I did it automatically. Good, good. I'm pretty sure he's not here, but, um,. Oh no, that's not it. Yeah, <clears throat> Glomer will never actually show up here, but a f on a full moon there will be a flower growing under the statue, and if you pick that up, he'll he'll appear, like you know when Chester does, you know, with the eye bone, and he'll follow you. But I can't say anything else or something. No, I can't. And he gives you a sanity aura, I think, when he's close enough. Ooh, look at all these green mushrooms. Damn. And then real quick, oh by the way, I think in the last video it was maybe, I mentioned whether or not the winter hat or the cat cap gives you more warmth. And I looked it up uh, before this recording, not right before, but you know, I mean that's what it sounded like, right? Um, in, in fact, the cat cap is insulation tier 1, and the winter hat is tier 2. Did you just... Did you just... Who just ate that red feather? You're gonna have to die now, you know that. You're gonna die now. F. Also, you can auto-attack by hitting F constantly. If you did not know that, which I'm sure some of you didn't. Anyway. Let me just grab some more of these. Get them. Damn it. I wanted to get... Red feathers are so important. Okay, well... I think now... I think we need to build a temporary fire. Yes, because it's just about to be night time. And I will cook this stuff up and eat it. And never eat uncooked meat in this game. Because it drops your sanity really low. Oh god, not frogs. Oh god. Okay, so frogs, <clears throat> they spawn in when it rains sometimes, and they can, they will kill you if you get too close to them. They are pretty much beef flows in heat all the time, but they do like more damage, <laughs> I swear. It's crazy, it's crazy. Did I ever mention how many the, the winter hat is a tier two, if I didn't say that, but anyway. Yeah, do not fuck with frogs, because they are assholes. They are just complete assholes. I mean, like, you don't even know. Okay, so meat. Meat is always a good food item. Some characters, as you know, will not eat. 
certain food items, you know, stuff like that. Why's my marble wet? Oh, okay, so I guess your marble gets wet first. That's weird. Anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, Shiite Muslims. Gosh. <laughs> Woo! Scared the crap out of me. Good thing lightning does not do damage in this game. I always thought it did. Okay, let's, I'm going to toast some of these to get a little bit of health. Since I ate a green mushroom. You only lose one heart. Or one... I don't know why I said heart. You only lose one health, but it's always good to be safe. And let's see what we can do right now. I've made another improved farm. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get enough resources to do that. You know, getting all the, the beefalo shit, you know. Huh? 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 Did you get that one? Huh? No? Okay. Oh, shit. About to go out. I, I, okay. So, apparently my, uh, oh, well, that was cool. Oh, well, good job. <coughs> That was totally uh, not planned at all. I was not watching the clock at all. I almost never do watch the clock in this game. So that was pure luck. <laughs> anyway, heading back to base. I'm going to cut this part out because I'm just going to be walking back to base. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Okay, real quick, I want to mention that uh, after beefaloes get in heat or whatever, I mean, since you all know what that means, baby beefalo will spawn. Now, Baby beefalo won't attack you, but they will charge around because they're, uh, you know, they're being all, you know, teenage, teenage beefaloes and shit or whatever. Also, if you get too close to their babies, they will follow you for a very long time and try to murder your face. So don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that real quick. Now we're going to base. Okay, so we're back, we're, we're back in the area that the base is, but, uh... I decided to record this little part when we're really close to the base because I want to I want to say this <laughs> before I forget about it for the three thousandth fucking time that while you're watching a YouTube video and you probably already know this one but to pause you can hit space and to unpause you can hit space but the ones you probably didn't know are that you can pause with K and unpause with K. You can go back 10 seconds with J and you can go forward 10 seconds with L because L is the coolest letter in the motherfucking world. Okay, And you can do this as many times as you want. You can hit L or J and it will go that many number of times times 10 seconds back or forward in the video. And also you can do uh, 5 seconds with the arrow keys. I've been trying to say that for like 2 years Okay, not two years. For like six months on this channel. And it has never come out of my mouth. So you're welcome. <sighs> Man. Feels like I just got one of those squids from Spongebob off my chest. Ooh, a watermelon. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, watermelons are amazing in this game. Just so you know. Uh, I'm going to have to drop something real quick. And wow, the... Uh, oh. Didn't mean to do that. Yes, you can change the perspective in this game by hitting Q or E. I do that a lot accidentally, but it disorients people, so I don't like to do that. It disorients me, really. <coughs> uh, so, yeah. So, what I'm going to do now is... Um, oh, I just dropped it. I'm going to fertilize the crop. And I'm going to make another make another farm um, probably over here since I can't use my cursor I'm gonna put one right there plant another seed and fertilize that seed and then we'll have two something or others when we come back next video and look that one's already bigger than that one okay so oh yeah before I before I, before I leave which I probably will leave in about five seconds I'm going to cook up these berries and eat them. And uh, I think I'm going to hold on to the watermelon for a little while. I'm not going to let it get uh, in the yellow because, you know, that would be stupid. Okay, this is really tedious. Okay, there we go. 
But watermelons are a great food, and they can be used as a dress item to cool you off in the summertime, which is really cool. But it gives you wetness because it's sticky, you know, watermelons. Um, I think it's actually right here, yeah. It's called a fashion melon. Refreshing but sticky, yeah. It's in the, it's kind of, I like, I like Don't Starve a lot because of that, because, um, when you, uh, when you look at the little descriptions that come with every little thing, you know, it kind of gives you like a, like a hint to, you know, unless it's not, unless it's straightforward, you know, like, um, uh, like provides a small amount of protection. <laughs> yeah, I got that. But it just, you know, I like the little, little hints, you know, that they, they, they give it, you know, like grow seeds a bit faster, you know, and like the jerkiest of racks. See, that wasn't even a hint, but it's funny. And that's awesome, you know. And then make better food, you know. I mean, I like that one, but it's not really a joke. And then tightly woven coils of usefulness. I mean, that's my favorite one, guys. Don't Starve is just an awesome game. I recommend you get it. But I've probably said this a thousand times. I know you're not hungry, Wilson. I swear. If you say you're hungry one more time, I will come in that game. I swear. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Before I kill Wilson, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, you know, below the video. Or un or do unfull screen and then hit like, you know, because, you know, only the coolest of people, you know, they watch YouTube in full screen because, you know, it just kicks ass. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, that would be awesome. And uh, tell your friends. Anyway, we'll be back with another episode of Don't Starve as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.